Well, hello there, this is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. Guys, I'm so happy to have you in the studio today. Today we'll be doing something really cool and really awesome, as usual. But before we get into that, I just want to tell you what I do during the week. During the week, I have coaching sessions with people who are beginners, people who are advanced, and it's just sometimes people who need help, vision, and planning, because sometimes you need to put your head together with somebody else and just figure out where you're going. The candle industry is definitely taking a turn since last year, where we, you know, we've seen a lot of the COVID-19 shortages and things like that. So, you know, we've seen a lot of new candle makers. We've seen people that's been in the game for a long time. And most of these people that's been in the game for a long time have been struggling in their businesses. All it takes is one coaching session to kind of iron things out so you can stop wasting money. Before you go to Amazon, I always tell you guys to come to me. Do not, do not, do not waste money. I spent thousands so that you can save thousands. Okay, so guys, what are we doing in the studio? Guys, it is fall. I know, I know, it's still hot outside. I still got my flip-flops on. <laughs> I wish you could see my feet. I still got my flip-flops on. It made me feel uh, hot outside still, but it is fall. Like, fall is coming. So before fall come, guess what? There are many things that we're going to have to do in this channel. We're going to have to do some pies. We're going to have to definitely do some pies. I'm planning on doing uh, sweet potato pies, cherry pies. I mean, we're going to do all kinds of pies. And remember, Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving without a banging pie, okay? So before we get into this video, we go all the way into it. I'm going to go ahead and turn up a little bit because I just want y'all to get loose. I don't need y'all all bougie and crazy. I want you loose like a goose up in here, okay? So guys, look, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into these fall pancakes. Yes, I just said it. I told you guys. I released the secret. All right, we're going to get into these fall pancakes. I'm going to tell you everything you need before we get started. You will need a pancake mold. Now guys, I got these pancakes molds from... You know what, Flexi Mold, you carry this mold, so you can get them from Flexi Mold. You will need the butter mold, and this is the butter. So I got like four butters. I got two pancakes, four butters. Uh, you will need some sprinkles. I will be using these Walton sprinkles today. I mean, they'll do the job, but you guys, you know, you guys do a lot of candles. After you see me do this, I'm sure you're going to be picking up doing a whole lot. You may need a little bit more sprinkles in these packs, but I did get these off of Amazon. For those who just want to do like maybe one or two, this will be perfect for you. You definitely will need about three wicks. I'll be triple wicking this. You can do two if you want to. I mean, whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'll be doing three CD6. That will equal out to three Eco 4s if you're a soy person. And so on and so forth make sure you get your wick guys so you can have the accurate wick like i teach you guys and remember if you don't know how to wick a candle properly and you're just watching my videos and just using these wicks that i'm telling you you're going about it the wrong way this is the way that you need to do it go ahead and book a, so a coaching session guys i make them very cheap very you got people on youtube with thousands of followers charging people thousands of dollars a hundred five hundred just to have a, a good coaching session no i make my stuff very cheap and affordable i even do 25 dollar tuesdays sometimes not all the time is when i have time to do it but i do 25 dollar tuesday where i sit down out of my day i take my time and i go to go through the wick guide with you i help you wick your jars wick you i mean i just go all the way in with y'all so basically what i'm telling you is let's done okay all right so we're about to get into this and um get all your supplies together guys we done already danced we done already shaped our bosoms our booties and all that let's just get it done okay okay guys so i do got some other cool things that i have uh put together like i did these little pumpkins and i plan on taking these little pumpkins and maybe placing it somewhere maybe i might place it on top of the pancake or um, I may use them in a vessel because I still had some fall vessels, but I did want to show you guys these cool little pumpkins that I did purchase off of Amazon. And they're like 3D and they're kind of big. They're not small, so I'm, you know, you could just probably plan on using like one at a time inside your vessel or on your pancake inside the, you know, I'm, for this particular project, I will be using a bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whip these three wicks inside of a glass bowl, guys. And then we're going to actually, well, you know what? We could do that together because this is something that people usually ask me questions about. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is my little Dollar Tree bowl. 
this is good what i do like about using bowls is this uh whenever you use a bowl you pretty much burn the candle down and because you wick the bowl and not just the pancakes it makes it so much more long it, it just brings longevity to the candle like it causes it to last a little bit longer because it the candle will actually melt down the pancakes and then it start like just it'll just start burning the bowl like inside the bowl like it'll start burning the wax it's, we are wicking the dollar tree bowl this will be the bigger one not the little mini one i want to make that clear because i did not know dollar tree had quite a few bowls you know i just found this out so we will be using that remember guys i told you we'll wick the views in the beginning of the video so you can go ahead back on to that and find out but yes we are triple wicking this bowl and what i do like about using bowls is this once the candles start melting down a little bit it will eventually like turn into an actual can like it's pancakes is melting down and then you just kind of burning it like a candle so i do like using bowls for that specific reason so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and put on some igi 6006 guys and i want you to color it tan i don't want you to color the pancakes brown i want you to color it tan we're gonna paint the pancakes we're gonna sprinkle the pancakes we're gonna pipe the pancakes i do have my piping mixture already set to the side remember it can get hard all you got to do is take a, uh, a hand mixer and go over it again so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna place these pancakes like inside the mold let them solidify and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the next part of the video okay the color i want you guys to add like a little uh yellow and brown for the color dye like it's this is what i did like, i made mine look like that like a yellow and brown kind of mixed it up a little bit and we are just ready i got a paintbrush because once you finish you're gonna have to paint the pancakes to just make them look real so get yourself a little paintbrush and I'm using some candle dye, like some candle dye. You can use color blocks or you can just use the dye. What I typically do with the color blocks is I melt it down just a little bit. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pour our, we're gonna pour our pancakes. And the good thing about pancakes is they can be brown because they would be symbolizing the fall. You can make them like a you know a brown color or you can make pancakes yellow like it really doesn't matter what color you make pancakes so that's that's the cool part about it okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and allow that to solidify and after it solidify we're gonna pop them on out we're gonna paint them and we're gonna get down with the get down okay guys so for the fun part i just wanted you to see what i had already done right here this is how they look without the paint right here and this is how it looks with the paint so it gives it like a little detail kind of make it look like a real pancake so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take a little bit of the candle dye and you're going to just kind of put a little you know get your picasso on <laughs> just paint it paint it around and i really like these little when you dip it in here just dip it lightly don't dip it too much and that way it won't make it dark because you don't want to paint the whole top brown but you want to give it that look to where as though it looks like a pancake and you don't have to do all of them like this but I just did one just so you guys can see it like you don't have to do all of them you just really have to do the top pancake because that's the one that's going to be seen so just kind of take it and paint it and it looks so real diamond just be coming up with this stuff y'all i'm telling you like i don't i don't have nobody to teach me like i just literally be just kind of going along learning stuff along the way and teaching you guys and i hope you guys appreciate all this good teaching because i'm a giver i love to give so this is it this is how it's going to look so you kind of let that that dye settle in and dry a little bit um don't be afraid to clean it up if you have to like take like a rag or something and kind of clean it up if you have to don't be afraid to do that but this is how they look when they are painted they look very realistic i'll put 
that up to you one more time. And these are the butters. Like I showed you before, guys, the butters look awesome. You just have to use some yellow. Use and just take an old yellow candle, melt it down to use your butter. Like you don't have to take color the butter. You don't have to put fragrance on the butter. You don't have to do any of that. Like just find you an old yellow candle that you already have made. Melt it down with a heat gun. Like just pretty much just pour it inside the cavity. And that's what I did. Like I just took this old yellow candle and I just started pouring it in there. You know that kind of way. And it just saves you time and you can just kind of utilize. That's why I always tell people never throw away your old candles. Like never throw them away. There's always a need for an old candle. So guys, now that we did that, I'm going to go ahead and fill up a few more cavities of the pancake. And because, you know, you want to make it stack three times. Like you don't want to just have a pancake. And that's why when I do order things, like I do like to order like maybe four and five of it just to, you know, have enough. Where I don't have to keep going back and ordering more. So that's a good idea for you guys. You can just go and order it that way. Me, I'm cool with the two. Like the two works perfect for me. And you know, this this I can move quick with this as well. Just having two. But if you want to, just order a few, a few at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up. I'm gonna fill these two pancakes up, guys. After I fill these two pancakes up, we're gonna go ahead and poke some holes in here. Uh get yourself. You can actually use the tip. You can use the tip of the paintbrush if you want to. But you know what? We can actually do that right now. So I can show you guys how it's done. So what you do is you take the paintbrush and you kind of just put a hole in it like that. You know, you just put a hole. But make sure when you put the holes in it, you line it up with the wick. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this up real quick before I put my stuff in here. Because I don't want it to be like dirty inside. I don't want it to have, like, I want it to be very pretty. So, I'm going to clean this up real quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and poke our holes in here. Now, make sure the holes that you poke line up with where the wick is located. Like, I basically have my wick going this way. So, I'm going to make sure that my holes is kind of going in the same direction as the wick. So, the first hole I'm going to poke is going to be, like, right here. The second hole I'm going to poke is going to be right, right here. You just kind of just poke the hole. Now, it will be off a little bit. You can't get it perfect, but just try to make it make some sense. Now, another cool way to do it is to kind of put these two on top of each other. You can do it that way. That way, your holes can be even as well. Whereas, though, you have the same holes in both. So, you can just kind of poke it like that, poke it like that poke it like oops okay let me do that again the way to do it is pretty much just take your wick and poke it through both our three pancakes and just that way you can have it all together at one time so you can just kind of poke it like that poke it like that poke it like that and just let it go all through so I'm just using the tip the tip of a paintbrush you can just use really pretty much anything that makes you feel comfortable and they won't be perfect, I'm going to tell you that much. It won't be a perfect, you know, fit, but it will work. I'll tell you, it will work. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to turn mine this way. And the awesome thing about it, you, you could go back and poke more holes. Or, you know, if you feel like you didn't do it right, you can go back and fix it. Because you are going to pipe the top of it, so... You won't really see the holes anyway so mine actually came out perfect to me it's good and I'm going to go ahead and sit another pancake on top of this one so this is going to be about three layers and I have my other pancake solidifying so that's that's a wonderful thing that I use today is apple maple bourbon it smells awesome and I have some other fragrances that I plan on using for my pancakes but I thought that would be good so that's this is my second this is actually my second layer I want to make three layers of the pancake before I finish but I just wanted you guys to see it I'm letting my other ones solidify so you guys can see it all at one time 
and as it solidifies guys I want you to pretty much get ready get all your supplies together start getting your piping bags your piping tips because we about to go ahead and start piping you know take your um, take your whisk or you know hand mixer whatever you use start softening up your wax and getting it ready because once we put this last layer of pancake on we're going to go ahead and pipe the top make it pretty we it's going to look like fall get your sprinkles together we're going to have a good time okay so we got the pancakes in here so now for the easy part <laughs> i know y'all like what easy girl shut up a lot of people are like look i ain't no baker you know i ain't no candlestick maker <laughs> Let me back this up for y'all a little bit, this camera, so you guys can see the piping process fully. So I'm gonna go ahead and back this up. Okay, so here is my lovely, 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 lovely mixer. Now listen, this little mixer is cheap. <sighs> this little stuff I be finding when I be out thrifting and stuff like that. So you ain't gotta spend a whole lot of money on the supplies you need. That's why I be trying to tell y'all all the time. But I don't think y'all be wanting to listen to me. But this is my little mixer. Now, if you notice it's really, really tough, I want you to go ahead and soften it up just a little bit. Take your heat gun, not too much. Because I don't want you to mess the fragrance up. So just take your heat gun and soften it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because you'll kill the fragrance. If you put too much heat on it, you will vaporize that fragrance right on off. I'm going to turn it on high. And usually when I make this, I make this in bulk. Like I make a lot of it at one time so I don't have to go through this process all the time. Because remember, all you got to do is just whip it all over again. It can sit for two weeks. Like this can sit for a couple weeks. And this is probably, uh, I think this is 2006. Yeah, here's 2006. Well, I don't need that much out of here. So I'm not going to like do all of it. But I'm just doing enough just for this candle for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take some out of here. And this is very thick. So I honestly, I want it to be a little bit more thin. So I'm gonna melt down just a little bit more. Because it, it makes it tough. take it out make sure you you know pipe your little test and then just kind of go in and I want you guys to see this a little bit better so I'm gonna just bring the camera back down one more time so you guys can get all in on the action okay guys is that good enough I know it is all right so we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pipe a little bit we're gonna make it really pretty on the top and then as you go you can kind of decide what will look good to you, you know? And me, I'm just piping the top, but I want it to come up just a little bit more. Like it's, it's really pretty, but I want it to have a little bit more detail. And I'm 
going to pipe all around here, kind of covering up the wig hole, you know, making it look pretty. It looks very pretty. And because it's a fall candle, we get ready to add our fall decor to it. That is really cute. I love the piping on this. I love it, love it, love it. Remember, don't bring the piping too much out the bowl because once you go to ship it, you're going to be dealing with some problems. So, you can either sit a fall pumpkin in the middle. You could do something like that. Uh, I actually want to just try it out and see. I don't want to just put it on there. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sprinkle some sprinkles on here. I showed you guys the sprinkles earlier that I'm using. So, you just kind of put it around the bowl too so it can have that detail in the bowl. And it brings it out. It brings it to life like when you add the sprinkles. So, you just kind of put it around the bowl, you know on the pancake around the bowl and if you want to you can go ahead now this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this uh, pumpkin right here and I'm gonna take my paintbrush and kind of go over the top you could take green you could take different colors like one thing about a pumpkin it does have a lot going on like sometimes you know you can find a pumpkin it got a little brown on the top it could have some green you know whatever you want to do whatever feels comfortable Whatever look you're going for, you know, you just go ahead and do what makes you feel comfortable. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this a little bit, just a little, just on the top, just to kind of give it a little detail. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to sit it in the middle of it, just to give it some more detail. And I'm going to sit it right here. And that is my little fall pumpkin. <laughs> Fall Pumpkin Patch Candle. That's what we're going to call it. The Fall Pumpkin Patch Candle. <laughs> and it's cool. I like it. It's different. I like to do stuff different. So we just pretty much filling it in. That's what I'm doing. Like the little holes. Because the wick is kind of... It's leaving like little holes on the side. Just kind of take that and fill that in. And these are some pancakes. So... You know, people are going to be looking like, girl, what you, what you got going on? So you can go ahead at this point and just trim your wicks down. Um, I'm going to leave them a little bit high because of the way it's going to burn. It's going to need a real good power burn. So I'm going to leave it a little bit high. I'm not going to cut them all the way down like I normally do. But this is how they look. These are This is my fall pumpkin pancakes. And it's pretty cute. I like it. So guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to this video. Hit the like button. Let me know that you like it. Comment below. Ask me any question you want to. Just don't ask me my age. And I will see you again for the next video. This is awesome. I love it. It's just, it's just too cute. Alright guys. Bye.